support of Doug and Anne Marie. Stop. Did we have a good time today? Yeah. Yes. yes, Your Majesty. How long do you think I can stall? I know this seems like it's kind of defeated the first. There's a principal involved here, and I wonder if we can appreciate it. Ah, yonder he comes. Here, 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 here. Yes, the irony, the irony indeed. Now we are the court of Doug and Anne Marie. Your Excellencies, have any business to conduct? No business, but can I address the populace? For yes. Uh, thank you all for coming out. We had a real exciting day today. I hope you had a good day. If you did not get enough fighting today, fighters practice is here tomorrow at 1 o'clock. You are all welcome to attend. Thank you. Their Majesties invited to their court, Maximilian. A lot going on today, Maximilian. A lot going on. Can I address your populace? Yes, you may. You already asked, you know, did you have a fun time? You come back for fight practice. There's not much else for me to say. Um, we, right, I'm glad you all came out. We had over 100 people attending with 63 of your fencers. So, really good to out today. We also had a couple of tournaments. Um, Master Michael McKay, could you come forward and let us know who won those tournaments? Thank you. Majesty, may I address? So we had three tournaments today. Um, when uh, the, I was discussing this uh, event with the other Masters of Defense, we thought it would be good to have an opportunity for each of the different experience levels of our fencers to have a chance to shine and showcase their prowess uh, with others at a similar level. So we started off with a novice tournament, which was any, um, any fencer who did not have a Cavendish Knock uh, award equivalent or above. We had five participants, um, great fun to watch. We had to do a pool tournament, so everybody got fenced. Everybody else, we counted, um, they did best of three passes, we counted in our points. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read off uh, the, the names of the people that participated and the, the order that they finished. So, um, Brian Rock was uh, the first place in that tournament, followed by uh, Jean Bouton, followed by Rene, and then five between um, uh, Grignard and Anthony. So, thank you. Will um, Brian please step forward? Earlier today, I gave members of the Bronze Ring and the Masters of Defense a cordial class. And I have two left over, and these are going to be the readers of these two members. <laughs> <laughs> For Brian. Huzzah! The second tournament we held today was for our Cavendish Knot Fencers, so our AOA level of fencers. We had, um, I think, about 13 different participants. Um, we did a bear pit style tournament. 
in a Swiss spy format, which means the combatants rotated through the styles that they were comfortable with, um, trying to um, keep it so that you know you've got experience fighting it with different things against different things. Um, uh, the way we did this bear pit was winner stays, not winner stays for three and then they said, well, they just stay until they die. Um, so it's been a bit grueling, um, but uh, the winner of that tournament was Duke Ronvalder. Um, with a tie for second, with a tie for second between uh, Gribor and Lorenzo. Um, I'm not going to go through everybody else, but everybody else did amazing. It was really fun to watch. I think it was very tiresome. We ran the barefoot for about 35 minutes. Um, lastly, we did a bronze ring tournament. This we did a double elimination. Um, I pulled the warriors that were assembled. They decided they wanted to do best of three, determine the, the winners of each pass. Um, it was a really a lot of fun to watch, a lot of prowess on the field today. Um, in the end, it was kind of an epic battle between Duke Edmund and uh, Michelangelo. And um, it was like down to the wire, last touch to, to, for all the marbles. But uh, Michelangelo uh, won that. Uh, yes. are more appropriately dressed than the <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Is that church? Is that count? No. Thank you, Thank you, I have just one more announcement. Uh, we do have a post-rebel plan. Um, Master Curtis is a resident at this um, you know, residential school. He's got a hall set aside for us. So if anybody's interested in coming back to see me for post rebel contact Master Fergus over there waving the hat. And thank you, Masters. We are very much looking forward to this post rebel so we both <laughs> many of you show up and have some fun. For the tournament winners, huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs>